cast member of 90 Day Fiancé after making his television debut in 2020 with Rose Vega, Baked Brown has appeared in numerous episodes and seasons of numerous franchise spin-offs. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Alina, keep watching for more interesting details, and don't forget to subscribe so let's start. Baked Brown has so far appeared in four distinct seasons of several 90 Day Fiancé spin-offs. The 57-year-old, who made his career as a professional photographer in San Diego, has attained such levels of recognition because his name is now well-known worldwide. Memes may make fun of Big Ed for having a short neck, but viewers frequently don't realize that Big Ed has been dealing with Klippelfeil syndrome, a disorder in which two or more cervical vertebrae in the neck are fused together. Big Ed's popularity keeps increasing, even if it's for the wrong reasons, with every 90-day fiancé season he appears in. Big Ed has been shown in numerous episodes making fun of the ladies he dates, including Liz Woods and Rosemary Vega. But the ladies also appear to be forgiving Big Ed for his misdeeds, including Liz, who has reconciled with Big Ed after their 11th breakup and Rose, who converses with him on Instagram. Big Ed made a big impression when he made his debut on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day season 4 in 2020. Big Ed was viewed as a real cast member who had finally found love after years of being lonely when he began dating Filipina single mom Rose, who was 31 years younger than him. Many sympathized with Big Ed since he appeared to be being duped out of his money by Rose and her sister despite the mayonnaise in his hair. His diminutive size, Teddy, his dog, and everything he did, including riding his bike around San Diego, were all viewed as cute. Yet when Big Ed finally met Rose, viewers had no idea what was in store for them. As more and more fans turned in to watch the show because of the couple's memes and jokes, Big Ed and Rose became one of the most talked about relationships on the 90 Day Fiancé franchise ever. Rose was harsh to Big Ed about her appearance and her terrible breath, which was caused by an ulcer, and he was criticized for making her remind him that she is less privileged than he is. When Rose learned that Big Ed didn't want children and was considering getting a vasectomy in the future, she broke up with him. Big Ed did his best to capitalize on his reputation and make money by marketing cameo films and items with his face on it, while Rose permanently quit the 90 Day Fiancé series. On the first season of 90 Day, The Single Life, he began working out diligently to reduce weight and found himself hunting for a fresh, younger woman to date in America. After consulting with a relationship counselor, Big Ed began dating Liz, the restaurant's manager. Like Rose, Liz was a single mother of a young child. Her likable demeanor made her a welcome change of pace on TV. Liz reluctantly agreed to Big Ed's requests, and the two of them spent the night together in a hotel room. Notwithstanding his actions with Rose in the past, Liz's decision to date Big Ed was perceived as an attempt by her to get notoriety. The couple remained together for a while before disclosing their breakup on the 90 Day, the single life season one tell-all. She even made light of the idea of teaching Big Ed how to kiss. Tiffany Brown, Big Ed's daughter, had already expressed worry about Liz, who was even younger than she was. Soon enough, a phone call that featured Big Ed cursing at Liz, and calling her stupid was leaked in May 2021. On season 2 of 90 Day, The Single Life, Big Ed attempted to restart his dating life after his breakup with Liz. His search took him to Mexico. Big Ed was observed dating Mia, a woman he had met at a friend's barbecue. Everything was going well until Mia confronted Big Ed about his ex-girlfriend Liz at which point he broke down in tears to confess that he still hadn't moved on from her. Big Ed's mother Norma came up with the Mexico scheme because she wanted him to embrace his heritage and romance a Hispanic instead. Then, on a video conversation, Big Ed was introduced to a woman by the name of Kaori by his pal Laura. The season's most memorable scene was when Kaori and Big Ed had to end their date in Mexico 
due to a robbery that occurred outside the restaurant. Big Ed believed he had little time left and asked Carrie if they may get married because he was almost shot at. Carrie thought things were going too quickly, though. Carrie even told Big Ed to shut up at one point. Later, Big Ed was invited on a cruise by Carrie, but she never showed up and ghosted him. After being let down, Big Ed had to take a plane back to the United States, his heart devastated and wondering whether he would ever find love again. When Big Ed returned to the franchise, Teddy his dog passed away. This gradually reconnected him with Liz, who contacted him for assistance. Big Ed and Liz reconciled, became engaged, and astonishingly, were cast in the upcoming seventh season of 90 Day Fiancé. Happily ever after, especially because of their background, Big Ed and Liz weren't welcomed as prospective husband and wife by their families. Yet, they were unaware that they were not yet prepared to wed, which led to the first of many separation. Big Ed and Liz appeared to get along well on Instagram, but their 90-day fiancé scenes showed quite the reverse, with frequent arguments caused by a jealous Big Ed. Big Ed charged Liz with having an affair with a female employee at their engagement party. After leaving the party in a rage, Liz even flung her engagement ring into a bush. Yet, when they partied with Big Ed's family in Arkansas, where they're allegedly going to move, their toxic relationship seemed to mysteriously improve. When Liz learned that Big Ed was still in contact with his 90-day fiancé ex-Rose at the tell-all, they broke up for the 11th time.